fly. But now this week, the former Steps singer, Claire Richards, has been photographed, here she is, in Closer magazine after losing an incredible five stone in just 12 months. <laughs> Well, a year ago, she was a size 18, but is now a super slim size 10. Claire's another example of a celebrity under pressure to stay thin. Last week, Take That stars Gary Barlow and Robbie Williams both revealed that they're in competition to see who can lose the most weight out of their tour this summer. Why can't we be both fat and happy, or just even slightly plump <laughs> and happy? Here to discuss are Cal Malone. Jane MacDonald and the woman herself, Claire Richards. <laughs> Claire, are the two impossible bedfellows being slightly um, rounded and being happy? <laughs> um, it's a tough one because I think it completely depends on the individual. And your job, in and your, your case. And your job. You know, I've always, from the minute I started in this industry, have been under pressure to be thin. And I have been too thin and I've been... Too, too overweight. Yeah. So I've I've had both both ends of the scale, and I can't say that I was completely happy either end. That's interesting because you, you got very very slender, and then mm. suddenly you know a year or so later you ballooned again. Is there a moment where when you're slender you think, oh I don't care, I'm just hungry? I mean, in this instance, I'm, and it's not an excuse, but I got pregnant with my second child, and pregnancy for me is <laughs> it's not an excuse to just eat everything, but I suffer really badly with morning sickness so the exercise stopped and you know things started creeping in. in gradually yeah. and you but don't did the, did the you know the morning sickness help get rid of that no, no because <laughs> I, wasn't actually, I wish it did i wasn't actually sick i just felt, felt sick. so sick yeah. the whole nine months jane does it concern you is it something that worries about you that worries you every day or? um I, I, if i wasn't in in the job that i'm in i would be a lot bigger because I don't like leaving half a pie, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. And, but saying that, I think... I don't think there's such a thing as a, a happy, bigger person. Do you know how we can't, we're all skirting around saying fat? Do you know what? I, I, I know <laughs> Claire, fat, I know Claire didn't say fat, though, either. Yeah. But, you know, but, you know, I, honestly, I believe anyone who says they're fat and happy is telling a lie. I don't think there's any such thing as everyone's fat and happy. And I think the people who, who say that they're happy is because they can't or won't do anything about it. Saying now, that, I know a lot of very miserable, thin people. No, so do I. <laughs> 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 Because I've been 16 stones and I've been 10 stones. So, I mean, I, I'm talking as a fat bird. I, I regard myself as a fat bird. All, we, Claire and I were just talking. The thing is, no matter how thin we get, we'll be fat birds inside. And, and there's always a tendency. And the thing about Claire now, she's lost weight in this. With the help of the magazine, she's had a trainer and nutritionist and all that. In a way, that's the easy part. And we were just saying this. That's mm -hmm. the easy. The hard part, she's on her own now. They've gone. So the hard part is going to be in the kitchen, on your own, chocolate in the fridge for the kids. Do you see, this is We're it. Can you it. live a normal, enjoyable and pleasurable life, Claire, and still remain slender, I, if you like food? This is what I'm now trying to figure out for myself. Obviously, this is the second time this has happened to me. I don't want it to happen again, but I can't say that, that it won't, but... It, this is the part now where we're really going to see whether I can. Mm. I think it's always going to be there. There's always the thought of food or... Don't you find as well, I think it's very hard being, especially you and you're in the public eye, it's very hard being overweight because actually people judge you. They make, they make snap judgments. If they're not right, but they think you're greedy, that you're lazy, that you're sloppy, that you're... Into, they make all these judgments about you. It's true, this, Jane, isn't it? I mean, you can't yes. deny that. People do, don't you? And, yeah. and, you know, we're all guilty of it. You look at a newspaper or magazine yeah. and the pictures and you say, oh, look, they've put a bit on, haven't they? You know, yeah. guilty it's, of it is, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you when the bad part for me is... Is, is if I have a night off and I know what's in the fridge and, and I'm thinking... And it's like calling me. It's calling yeah. me. You know, I just get to the end of Coronation Street and I think, salt. And then when I've had the salt, I think, I need a bit of sweet now. So if the... the, the, the so what if the happens, pie's in there, it goes, does the it? pie's in there, forget it. Is there anything northern about this, the fact that we were taught from being tiny to clear our clear plates? Clear our plates. Because I'm the same. But it's not exactly the same. It's not northern. It's actually, it's actually just... We, I'm sort of in an era where there wasn't that much food around, you know? And, and, and you know, I came from a very working-class family. There wasn't much money. You couldn't actually waste it. But it's not even about that. There was so much to choose from in the supermarkets now. Everything mm. is there. It's all calorie-laden. But also, we do have about six or seven 
certain months here of winter and miserable yes. weather. Mm. And you don't feel like a salad, do you? But you know, you're making one of the perfect excuses. There was a list in one of the papers this week <laughs> saying the top excuses for cheating on your diet. One of them is, I'm miserable, I need cheering up. The second is, it's cold. The third is, I've, I've got a hangover. And, and we've all made the excuses. Well, all of the above every morning, yes, really. Exactly. <laughs> I yeah. agree fully. It's, you know, the thing about Claire, though, the thing I admire about her, there are lots of people who are in the papers every day who say, it's an illness, I'm sick, I'm addicted to food, whatever. It's genetic nonsense. Mm. Actually, Claire never gives up. She's tried a few times, as I have, as we all have. She never gives up, she's doing it herself. She's not blaming anybody else, which is actually... The, the... And I think she looks fantastic She looks fantastic. She does. You she look does. lovely. Yeah. Listen, stay just the way you are, Claire. <laughs> and the best... The best method I've heard about doing it is that you can eat what you want. This isn't a joke. When you get your plate full, forget that northern work ethic or whatever it is, if you divide everything in two, the pie, the veg, the everything, and eat half of it and leave half of it, you'll be absolutely <laughs> fine. You give the other two your other half. But you cut it. Yeah? You just don't put it on your plate anyway. There you are. And you the see? thing is, a fat person can't do that. That's no. why we're fat. I'll, you see, I've just put twice as much on, though. Have a glass of water. <laughs> My thanks to Carol, Jane and Claire. <laughs> Still ahead, comedian Don Jolly talks about life away from the Australian jungle.